We'll guide you through how to factory reset your iPhone to default settings. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and also liking the video. And let's get into this. Firstly, it's a good idea to go and back up your iPhone. So if you get another iPhone or other iOS device or even Apple device, you can then go and get access to things like your photos and contacts and notes, stuff like that again. So to do that, you can do it by plugging it into your computer and then backing it up on there or you can do it on iCloud. So open up your settings and then click on your name at the top. And then what you can do is press on iCloud and then you can press on iCloud backup and you can go and switch this on and then press backup now and everything will then be backed up. You will need enough space on your iCloud. For me, I don't have enough space, but I could go and get some more if I wanted it. The next thing you need to do is sign out of your Apple ID. To do that, come to the top of your settings and click on your name. And then all you need to do is scroll down and tap on sign out. If your sign out says not available due to restrictions, this is likely because you've got screen time enabled. So just come out of your Apple ID there, press on screen time and make sure you go to the bottom and press turn off. Once it's turned off, then scroll down and tap sign out. And when you tap on sign out, you'll need to enter your Apple ID password. After you've entered your password and press sign out in the top right, you can then choose if you want to keep a copy of this data on your iPhone. I'm personally not going to. I'll then press sign out again and then I'll press sign out like that. It'll then say copying iCloud data and you can just wait. And during the sign out process as well, you may be asked to go and turn off find my iPhone. If you are, make sure you do it. So now that you're signed out, now we can actually go and reset our iPhone. So scroll down to general and then scroll to the bottom of general and you can then tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Once you've clicked there, then what you can do is tap on erase all content and settings just like this. And then as you can see, it says erase this iPhone. You can then press continue and you'll need to go and enter the passcode. After you've entered your device's passcode, you'll then go and get a little pop up saying erase this iPhone. And when you click that, that is the final button you'll press. And then the erasing process will then begin to so make sure you are sure before you press that button. And then basically you're going to the Apple logo appear on the screen and a bar which is moving across as your iPhone is being reset. And the time this takes will vary depending on how much stuff is on your iPhone. But then after that finish, you'll then have a factory reset iPhone. If you found this guide useful, please leave a like.